forensics. We are living in a world today where people would no longer have to move or break into banks even to, to, to steal money or commit certain crime by being there in person. But through the use of comp computer devices, they could you know, cause a lot of harm and uh, cause the nation to lose a lot of money and also in the process injure people in several other ways. Now the study of this program has enhanced my knowledge by, by making me believe that there is a, an important need to de design mechanisms that would ensure the protection of the global world. And coming up, in doing this, we have to come up with certain uh, security mechanism if it ha has got to do with uh, networks, try and design uh, means by which networks could be protected, ensuring that there is, an, uh, there is confidentiality in uh, the data that we are using, if there is, there is also a need to ensure that there is much integrity, that any kind of data or any kind of message that is being passed across is the genuine and the correct one. Preview. The giant strides made by Ghana Telecom University College with the support of SDF is a big step in ensuring there is more safety in the management and facilitation of financial transactions. It has also provided the security agencies with an avenue to upgrade their skills in how to use ICT to detect crime, especially cybercrime. Leonard Prince Asiago, an e-commerce certified consultant, shares his perspective on the prospects of the curriculum for the financial sector. It's a very laudable curriculum that has been brought in by the Ghana Telecom University. This is going to go a long way to impact on the financial industry. Why am I saying this? It's because in this modern era of ours where technology is taking absolute control over every business we do, crime is rising, people are doing quite a number of um, strategies to siphon money from various financial in, in, in institutions. This lab is going to go a long way where people are being trained from the financial industry to understand what is really going on, to be able to keep some of these challenges that come our way as they get um, themselves abreast every minute and then to overtake the industry. With this lab in place, it would go a long way to also ensure that we understand what we are heading to. Embracing technology is a good thing, but understanding how it works and how to keep some of um, these crimes are very, very important. Um, these days, we have all believed that the best way to do business is via technology. In as much as we are adding benefits and values to the customer, we also ensure that we protect our customers from these crimes. Because when these things happen, it goes a long way to affect us, um, the financial industries and not the people out there. I would encourage that we all go out there. This is not just an ordinary lab, but it's a very sophisticated lab which has been put in place with well-trained people who understand what they are teaching. And this is what we need. This is the way forward. This is a strategy to keep some of the problems, the challenges, the issues in giving the benefits to the customers via technology. And in doing that, I think the confidence of our customers would grow stronger and better to do more business with the financial industry. If ever there is one driver which can propel our county to full skill developed status, then it is through quality skills training. SDF is here to support businesses to train their staff. All that we're trying to do is to build a very solid human capital. Base. We shall profile beneficiaries of SDF. 66,894 Ghana cities. The requisite technical expertise, PETAG, have been struggling to keep pace. SDF for my ISCA. Who is going to provide mm -hmm. a service? And our main focus has been on mass production of garments. There was a lot of talk about Sakawa. Are you able to use these same processes to also apprehend people? That, that is Google. correct. Our research showed that Ghana was at the number eight in the world when it comes to cyber. So please make a date with me, Abitankra, this and every Wednesday at 8 o'clock on GTV. SDF is an initiative by the government of Ghana with support from the World Bank and Danida. So when this training is given, when people acquire this training, what would it do 
for the country? What did it, what what would it do for institutions? Okay. Well, for the country, I hope they will bring the our our, our our number on the list to infinite. That means we are not on the list at all. Okay. Which means Ghana, in terms of rating on cyber security, people will be willing to do business with Ghana. Because if you want to do electronic transfer, and then your country is rated blacklisted. Uh, as a cyber crime country, you know, it's difficult to do visa and all that stuff. Yeah. So that is one aspect when it comes to the national picture. But in terms of individuals, I want to have a student who graduate from any of these programs, apply to a rural bank in the country, and get a job as a computer forensics expert. And that person will be looking at the security of their systems and the networks to make sure that it cannot be hacked. Even if it's hacked, you know, sensitive materials are still there and nobody can touch them. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want anybody to, to hack a system where they can transfer your money to my account mm-hmm. and then you knew the money is not there. So these are some of the work environment that these people can go to. Mm-hmm. Yes. Look, what does the future hold for GTUC? You know, I came here four years ago. And when I came here, I think we were maybe 700 students. Now we are 4,000 students. Uh, I came to meet uh, a man who has this vision, the president of GTUC, uh, and it has worked very well. Um, right now, we want to move in the direction that I described. We want to do the one-to-many approach. That's why we are a technology-based institution. I don't know if you guys know, we just received an award in Geneva about two weeks ago on quality education in Africa. You know, last year we got the best telecom university in the whole Africa. So we think we are making strides, we are moving forward, but the bottom line is not JTUC. The bottom line is Ghana and the sub-region. That is why if you look at our vision, we say we want to be a uh, uh, university of academic excellence within the sub-region. And the focus is technology. Mm. Doc, I know that if I uh, want to ask so many questions, you're going to take us through and you know take us on and on. Thank you so very much for your time. I think that congratulations will be in order for the achievements that uh, GTUC has chalked so far. We wish you all the best, and we'll be monitoring to see as you go on, you know, on the success journey. Thank you. Thank you so very much. For your time. Thank you. Welcome to GTUC.